Now? That's how all cereal prizes have been throughout history. A pox on this trinket! Oh boy, a real coon's king cat! Okay, that never happened. You don't know that for a fact. If I had my own cereal and the box said Alien Blaster Ray Gun, that's what you'd get. And it would actually work! Well, you don't have your own cereal, so... But I will. To the lab! <laughs> cereal box prize pitcher Johnny Nemo! Dog. He wants his own cereal where the prize is cool and really works. Perfect timing, then. We've been working on a tasty yet healthy cereal option. Yeah, but with a cool prize, right? It's a fruit juice sweetened kelp and soy based cereal. Okay, that sounds gross. But it's got a cool prize inside, right? We're calling it Kelpy Bunches of Soy. But it has a cool prize, right? No. Hmm. And you need a cool name, too, like Jummyos. Oh, and don't forget about a mascot. All the best cereals have a cool spokes animal. Bears, tigers, toucans, frogs. I think the spokes dog's time has come. <laughs> but still, the most important part of a balanced breakfast is the super cool prize inside. How about cool experiments kids can do at home, like testing string theory or cold fusion? Wait, here's my reaction to that. Why don't you just put a pillow in the box so they can take a nap? Point taken, Johnny. You guys work on the cereal. We'll work on the marketing and the awesome prize you get in every box of Johnny <laughs> Okay, we need a cool catchphrase like, Don't touch my Johnny O's, or They're so tastic <laughs> Now this would make a really cool prize. What is that? A ray gun my sister's made that really works, that I forgot to return. It'll make the perfect alien blaster ray gun for Johnny O's cereal. It's kind of big. There won't be any room for cereal. That'll be our slogan. Oh, prize. No cereal. We'll just hit it with my sister's duplicating gun that I also forgot to return. And one down. And another. Okay, tell me which mascot character you like best. Okay. I'm Kilty, Johnny O scared wearing duck. And start your day off right, well. Next. Yeah, I'm Turbo, the Bavarian Oompa Pop Pop. Fill your bowl with Johnny O's. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Get it? I'm Mimo. I'm trapped inside every box of Johnny O's. Yeah, mimes freak people out. Just be your cool, awesome, fuzzy self. That's what I love. You're right. I am cool and fuzzy. And I'll help make Johnny O's the best cereal ever. I've tapped into the security camera circuit at the grocery store to monitor the sales of Johnny O's. Wow, Johnny was right. Everyone's buying it. Kids are going to get better morning nutrition, and we're going to be cereal moguls. And wait till you see our commercial. Johnny O's, Johnny O's. Hey, even with your mouth, not your nose. It's got a real working prize. Yeah, that's a surprise. Johnny O's, Johnny O's. Word, Johnny O's are so fantastic. 
I did all my own stunts. Did you say a real working prize that's a ray gun? Yeah, that's right. Finally, a cool prize! <laughs> Sweet! Are you insane? No. I put an alien blaster prize inside that really works. Plus, now if there's ever an alien invasion, everyone will be ready. This is not good. This is our first product and we have to recall it because inside every box is a deadly weapon! Turn off that TV and do your homework! I'm not gonna tell you again to mow that one! You'll eat all your broccoli for Mommy tonight, right? I hate broccoli! Okay, laser ray gun arming the cereal-eating youth of today might not have been the best plan, but that is an awesome prize! Hank Anchorman here. It seems people of all ages have gotten their hands on real ray guns, and they're causing pandemonium! Excuse me, son, but where did you get that weapon? In that new cereal, Johnny O's! They're soy tastic and have the best prize ever! There you have it! You have to get out there and get those blasters back fast! Hey! Real alien blaster ray guns in cereal. Are you serious, Johnny? What? It's a good prize, and it'll totally come in handy in case there's an alien invasion. You know that's not gonna happen. But it might. We're really more concerned about the entire country armed with real ray guns. Not an alien invasion. <laughs> but it is an awesome prize. I know, right? So, how do we stop this? We thought we could repossess all the blasters, but it looks like there's too many. Johnny, how many did you make? Only like five. Thousand. What? Before the duplicator overheated and melted. Are you in? novelty signs all my life, but I love Johnny O's! Watch out, fellas! Grandma's taking it downtown! Maybe the blasters will just run out of energy. That seems to happen with a lot of your inventions. Whatever, dog. The plutonium cylinders that power the blasters recharge every time they're fired. So the more you use them, the stronger they get. Pretty much. Nah, that's really not helping things. Wow! These blasters are getting even more powerful. Let's show those satellite providers we're tired of their overpriced service. Satellites. That's it! We could neutralize all the blasters at once by sending a disruptor signal from a space satellite. You go send that signal. And we'll stay downtown and keep Johnny from doing something else stupid. You've really done it this time, Johnny. Yeah, what were you thinking? What? Every prize you ever get in cereal stinks. This one works. And there could be an alien invasion. For the last time, Johnny, there's, there's no, no alien, alien invasion. invasion. Told you it could happen! Wow, what are the odds? People of Pork Belly, use the blasters from the Johnny O cereal! Come on, they're called Alien Blaster Ray Guns, designed specifically to blast aliens! Doesn't anybody read the cereal box anymore? Transmitters in position! Now, to neutralize all Johnny O's alien ray guns, rendering them harmless. Yo, alien fading dudes, need our alien blasters. <laughs> well, the good news is, the girl's plan worked. But the bad news is, we're under an alien attack! are like every other cereal prize. Jump! <laughs> What's happening? It's the cereal. It tastes so disgusting, they're terrified and now fear our planet. You did it, Johnny. What? My cereal does not taste disgusting. <laughs> Yes, it does, but it also helps save the world. I think it's safe to say that Johnny O's are soytastically disgusting. Hey, you're gonna have to change your song now. Johnny, 
Jam it O's. Jam it O's. You eat them with your mouth, not your nose. Aliens can't eat them because they freak them out. And they saved our world even though they taste really bad and gross. Dad, we have to work on a new sound. I think so. Uh, yeah. Huh, nothing like a big bowl of tasty cereal after kicking alien butt all day long. Mm. Uh, <laughs> delicious. I'll say it again. Crunchy yums are way better than disgusting Johnny O's. Okay. You don't have to rub it in, you know. Huh? I am Frotar, here to take over the Earth. Yeah, I, I got this. Bon Appetite! Alien from another world, Johnny O's! Well, I've said it once and I'll say it again. Johnny O's are disgustingly... So fantastic! Sled slalom of doom! The gold medal is ours! Nuts, dog! You could have been killed over a squirrel! I know! Totally worth it, right? <laughs> what are you doing? Getting a cool, refreshing drink of water. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> you knocked over all the trash! Uh, it may be trash to you, but it's a doggy buffet to me. <laughs> What's happening to my genius dog? And I'm missing my guh! <laughs> Chewing slippers is fun. Johnny! No, oh, I've been meaning to tell you. Something's wrong with Dookie. He's been acting like a dog. A dog dog. But chooch time! We notice. <laughs> yep, all the data proves it. The DNA that we originally altered to create Super Duper Dookie has destabilized, and it's changing him back to its original doggy state. Yeah, blah, 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 just fix him! I need my old coffee-drinking, water-bombing, skateboarding fuzzy buddy back! Time for an upgrade! <laughs> Hurry, he's chewing his butt now! Okay, I'll just set the nucleic acid disruptor to 80. Protoplasm electrolyte sequencer to 7. Adjusting for dog years. And add some extra manners to avoid future butt chewing. And flip the switch. I hope this works. Good day, all. Nice to see you again. Yeah, it didn't work. Cut up, not Duque! Duque. The name's Duque, Jonathan. Do these machines in here make soy milk half calf low foam lattes? Looks like we may have upgraded him a little too much. According to our findings, those were all the right machine settings. We'll have to recheck the equations and possibly recalibrate the DNA machine. How long is that gonna take? Dunno. Until then, you're stuck with Duque. Oh, Jonathan, look at my new ear style. It makes me look years younger. Yeah, I see that. What is with all these rags? Where is my wardrobe? My yachting togs? Back at that ascot bridge jacket? Those are your clothes. Really? <laughs> well, I'm afraid this just won't do. Yeah, it will. Because there is no way I'm taking you shopping for new clothes. Okay, I stand corrected. But I'm not buying these clothes. I'm not going to have to ask you to wait outside, am I, Jonathan? I'm sorry, but the bathroom is for customers only. And the all-you-can-eat ribs and donut hut is three doors down. That's rich. No, my good man. I am about to become your best customer. Where'd you get all that money? Not that I have to explain myself, but I've been saving for a rainy day. And that day is today. <laughs> Okay, now that we've shopped, dog, let's go skateboarding or simply slap each other with mud hands. Oh, please, Jonathan. I've got a luncheon, polo practice, and then lawn bowling at the Pork Belly Country Club. How did you get into the Pork Belly Country Club? <laughs> Anywhere but here and step on it. Hey! What about me? Can I 
said, if I want to go camping, I'll stay at a four-star hotel instead of a five-star. Ah, ah. Now, let's polo! <laughs> Name? Johnny Test, and I'm here to see Dookie. No, I mean, Duke. You're not on the list. Can't let you in. So move along. We'll see about that. So far, this is one of my best days at the club. Winning Golden Polo, and now for the winning bowl. Break in this snooty country club, snag snooty dog, drag him back to the lab and get my cool, not snooty dog back. Yes! <laughs> 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 This cannot be good. <laughs> wow, that might be like my best wipeout ever. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it's dead. Well, that's just marvelous. Disgraced and thrown out of the club. Could this day get any worse? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes it could. Okay, I'm going to proceed homeward for a hot bath and then perhaps some afternoon tea. You're not invited. The new modulator is in, so we can scratch that off as the problem. I tweaked the oscillator and it looks good too. I think it's ready to try. Now we just need Duque to test it. Mm. Huh? These imported biscotti are simply divine. You've got to try one. They are to die for. Mm. You, you should, should try, try one, Johnny. Johnny. Not helping. Johnny wants old Dookie back. Johnny needs old Dookie back. Is this DNA thingy ready? Yep. Mm, the biscotti gets even better if you dunk them in coffee. <laughs> Sorry, Dookie. Now let's get to the sciencey part. And take out all the snooty stuff. Powering up. DNA and eyes are at 100%. And getting rid of all the snooty stuff. Do you have to? <laughs> Dookie? That's the name, but people around here just call me Dukes, John Boy. Oh, no. How on earth did I get me in these clothes? Where's my overalls, my straw sun hat, and my yeah. bandana? Why is he acting like Huckleberry Finn? I don't want Huckleberry Finn. I want Dookie. Hey, you said take out the snooty, so we did. No, put some back, so I can just have my old super ultra dog back. Can't. The motherboard's fried. Mm, mm, mm. Nothing like an open fire for cooking. I'll go rustle up some dirt. <laughs> yeah, right. He likes to eat dirt. Well, at least he seems like he'll be more fun to hang out with than Duke. Eh? Don't care. He's still not good old Dookie. So hurry and fix the machine because I can't take these DNA reject freaks anymore. Okay. Here, take the wrist communicator and transporter. The minute we have it fixed, we'll call, you grab a hold of Dookie, and whisk yourself back here. Hey, Dukes, what do you say we... What is that? I rustled up some of your dad's porcupine meatloaf. It's not as good as dirt, but it'll do. I don't even know how to respond to that. I don't suppose you want a skateboard or a luge. Yeah? Luge? Shucks. I don't speak no foreign languages, John boy. Besides, I gotta get me back to the farm. You don't live on a farm? Yes, I do. No, you don't! Watching the grass grow, does it get any better than this? Yes. Yes, it does. Come on, let's do something dangerous and exciting. Like not watching grass grow. Oh, you all dangerous and exciting. Okay, why are we in a junkyard? This here is what we call the dine or dash. Right. The meatbelt does have me curious, but what's dangerous about dining or dashing? Well, put on your meatbelt. You'll see. Strangers wear pork in the junkyard! Strangers wear pork in the junkyard! Let's say what? <laughs> How's that for exciting? Last one to the other side is Dolphy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, this was fun! <laughs> Come on, Johnny! Okay, this is kind of exciting. <laughs> and now it's really dumb and dangerous. <laughs> Johnny, the new motherboard's in, and we're good to go on our end. Okay, but can't talk right now about that, but you not like dogs. <laughs> hey, take her easy. Please tell me this is gonna work. Third time's the charm, right? Let's 
Let's hope. I hope this works. Okay, why am I dressed like Huckleberry Finn? Man, I need a cup of coffee and a plate of bacon. Dookie, it's really you! You're back! I don't think I even want to know what this is all about. Let's just say you haven't been yourself. And we're all glad to have you back. Aw, oh, doggy like happy ending. Ah!